this video shows examples of limits of functions in indeterminate form using factoring and rationalizing. For example, one, let's say we have the limit of x squared plus 2x plus 1 over x plus 1 as x approaches negative 1. If we try to substitute negative 1 to the given function, we would be having the square of negative 1 plus 2 times negative 1 plus 1 over negative 1 plus 1. So this is in indeterminate form because upon substitution, we have 0 over 0. Therefore, we need to do another work to identify the limit of this function. And that would be factoring. The numerator can be written as x plus 1 times x plus 1. For these are the factors of the numerator. We can cancel x plus 1 from the numerator and the denominator, leaving us the limit of x plus 1 as x approaches negative 1. We can now substitute negative 1 to x, and that would be negative 1 plus 1. So, the limit, for example, 1 is 0. For example, 2, the given is x squared plus 5x minus 14 all over x squared minus 4 as x approaches 2. Let us show that this is really in indeterminate form by substituting 2 to our x. So we would be having 4 plus 5 times 2 is 10 minus 14 and that would be 0 over 0. Getting the factors of the numerator would be x plus 7 and x minus 2. Also, the denominator would be the sum and difference of two binomials, and that would be x plus 2 times x minus 2. We can cancel x minus 2, giving us the limit of x plus 7 over x plus 2 as x approaches 2. By substitution, we can have 2 plus 7 over 2 plus 2. So the limit of this function is 9 over 4. For example 3, the given is x squared minus 4x minus 5 all over x squared plus 10x plus 9 as x approaches negative 1. Let us show again that this is really in indeterminate form by substituting negative 1 to the x in our function. So we have negative 1 squared is 1, negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4, minus 5, over negative 1 squared is 1, 10 times negative 1 is negative 10 plus 9. So we have 0 over 0. Let us now do factoring for the given function. So to factor the numerator, we have x minus 5 times x plus 1. And for the denominator, we have x plus 9 times x plus 1. We can now cancel x plus 1, giving us the limit of x minus 5 over x plus 9 as x approaches negative 1. So we can now substitute negative 1 to our x here. So we have negative 1 minus 5 all over negative 1 plus 9. So negative 1 minus 5 is negative 6. Negative 1 plus 9 is 8. Simplifying, we can have negative 3 over 4. For example, 4. Let's have the limit of x minus 16 over the square root of x minus 4 as x approaches 16. To show that this is in indeterminate form, 
let us substitute 16 to the variable x. So we have 0 over 0. To get the limit of this function, as x approaches 16, we're going to do rationalization. Therefore, we need to multiply this function to the conjugate of the denominator. So in this case, we have the square root of x minus 4 as the denominator, so we need to multiply it by square root of x plus 4 over the square root of x plus 4. So as you can see, we just changed the sign of the denominator here, so this would be minus, and for this factor, we just have to do it as addition. Since the denominator is the sum and difference of two binomials, we can use special products to simplify. So we can have the square of the square root of x minus the square of 4. To simplify the denominator, we would be having x minus 16. We can cancel x minus 16, giving us the limit of the square root of x plus 4 as x approaches 16. By substitution, we can have the square root of 16 plus 4. So we have 4 plus 4, and that would be 8. For example 5, the limit of the square root of a plus 4 minus 2 over a as a approaches 0. To check if this is really an indeterminate form as a approaches 0, let us substitute 0 to our variable a. So we have 0 plus 4 minus 2. So we have square root of 4 and that would be 2 minus 2 over 0. So we have 0 over 0. Let us multiply the square root of a plus 4 plus 2 over the square root of a plus 4 plus 2 to our function to rationalize. So same step as our example 4. As you can see here in the numerator, we can perform special products. Since our numerator shows the sum and difference of two binomials. Therefore, we can have the square of the square root of a plus 4 minus 2 squared, all over a times the square root of a plus 4 plus 2. Simplifying the numerator, we can have a plus 4 minus 2 squared is 4. We can still simplify the numerator. So 4 minus 4 is 0 plus a, and that would be a. We can cancel a, giving us 1 over the square root of a plus 4 plus 2. We can now substitute 0 to our variable a. So we have 1 over the square root of 0 plus 4 plus 2. This would be square root of 4, and that would be 2 plus 2, so that would be 4 for the denominator. Therefore, the limit for example 5 is 1 over 4. For example 6, we have the limit of 3 minus the square root of x squared plus 9, all over x squared as x approaches 0 showing that this would be 0 over 0, we have to substitute 0 to our variable x. To evaluate the limit, we need to multiply this function to 3 plus the square root of x squared plus 9 over 3 plus the square root of x squared plus 9. Again, the numerator shows some indifference of two binomials. So we can solve this by doing 3 squared minus the square of the square root of x squared plus 9 over 
x squared times 3 plus the square root of x squared plus 9. So simplifying the numerator, we can have 9 minus x squared plus 9. Because the radical sign would be cancelled because we are squaring this term. So simplifying our numerator, we can have 9 minus x squared minus 9. Distributing the negative 1 here. So therefore, we have negative x squared over the denominator here. And as you can see, we can cancel x squared, leaving us the limit of negative 1 all over 3 plus the square root of x squared plus 9. We can now substitute 0 to the variable x. So to simplify, this would be 0 squared plus 9, and the square root of 9 is 3. So we can have negative 1 over 3 plus 3, and that would be negative 1 over 6. For our last example, let's say we have the limit of the square root of 1 plus x minus the square root of 1 minus x over x as x approaches 0. Showing that this would be 0 over 0, we have to substitute 0 to the variable x. The square root of 1 minus square root of 1 is 0 over 0. To get the limit of this function, we need to multiply this by the conjugate of the numerator. So we have the square root of 1 plus x plus the square root of 1 minus x. All over the square root of 1 plus x plus the square root of 1 minus x. The numerator shows the sum and difference of two binomials. Therefore, we can simplify the numerator by doing special products, and that would be the square of the square root of 1 plus x minus the square of the square root of 1 minus x all over the denominator. Squaring this would give you 1 plus x minus 1 minus x. Distributing negative 1 to 1 minus x, we can have negative 1 plus x. 1 plus x minus 1 plus x would give you 2x. And then we can cancel x, giving us 2 over the square root of 1 plus x plus the square root of 1 minus x. Substituting 0 to the given function, we can have the square root of 1 plus the square root of 1. And that would be 2 for the denominator. So simplifying, you have 2 over 2, and that is 1.